Uh, okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to... Oh, uh, it's finally here! Oh, the vehicle system is done! It's so grand, it's... Oh, there's a drop. Oh, it's so grand, it's so wonderful. Oh, there's this... DeLorean. Uh, boat. Boat. Anywho. So... Let's walk around the boat. So real quick, let me just give you a quick overview. Here is the original system. This is how it used to be. This is how it used to function. It's obsolete. However, I'm going to leave it here just in case you guys want to keep it and play with it. And if you want to practice on it, it does have the rotational limit. So you won't be able to tilt it further back or further forward unless you adjust the settings inside of the ship system, which is hidden on a way. But that is there for you guys, just a resource for you guys to use if you guys want to use it. This, however, this right here is our finished product. Now, moment. The system will automatically parent you when you jump in, when you're in walk and run mode. Alternatively, you could duplicate these seats here and move them forward and use them as pilot and co-pilot seats. So let's take a look here. We've got our settings here right in the middle. Everything is multiplied by one. Here's our boost. That'll tell you if you've got your boost mode on. Here's your uh, main throttle. And here's your panning and um, um, an altitude. So you can, let me just demonstrate these. You can grab this and you'll move up, you'll move down, you'll move left, right, that kind of a thing based on how you move this around. This is pretty self-explanatory. Forward, backward. These rods here help you determine whether or not it's at the stop point. And then this is your joystick. This lets you turn and rotate based on how you hold your hand. It might get a little disorienting at first. I suggest you take it slow. Um, fly around here. Use this world if you need to. Uh, or take it to a bigger world with some high-rise buildings or something like that to practice in. Um, the, the seats work, so they'll station you, lock up your, um, uh, your ability to, uh, your locomotion system. I can't move, I can't rotate, I have to click to get back out, so that'll, uh, keep there. Let's see here. And then, uh, this right here, you can hide that away so you don't accidentally go changing those values. Nothing I can do. There we go, bring them back. Now I can change these values here. Oh, sorry. There we go. Click. I'm undecided as, as to whether or not I'll switch them over to physical touch, but you guys can decide that for yourselves. This button, however, left is a physical touch because it's got a cool little like, sync. It's, it's got a little cool animation. Um, and then if you um, hit the thrust here, you have to pull the trigger. Otherwise, that way you don't accidentally um, uh, activate boost mode. But uh, this is boost mode off. This is boost mode on. So that's going forward and backwards with boost mode. I might be a little bit laggy because I'm recording right now. But then when it's slower. Now let's say you want to uh, up the ante a little bit. And double your thrust, or actually triple your thrust, and triple your boost. So that's regular thrust. And there's your boost, going really fast now. So let's say we want to take that up even further. Regular speed, nice and even. Get that boost on. Now we're really flying. All right, cool. So now that you know how everything works, how the controls work, there you go. I'll show you real quick what it will be like if you want to customize this system for yourself. So I'm gonna leave this all up here. And let's say that you've got a nice fancy DeLorean that you wanna go try and try adding into the vehicle system here. Well, firstly, something to be aware of is the DeLorean. This one here does, by default, I do not have colliders on. 
you would have to do that yourself. So let's just go to the DeLorean here, right there. Let me make sure that's the right one. Yep, it's the root. So that's the proper DeLorean uh, model object under the root of the scene. Now I'm just gonna grab this here. I'm gonna go up. What you need to find, not vehicle container, you want J flying vehicle core. The vehicle container contains all the stuff like um, the seats, the control stations, the controls, the settings. All of that is contained in here, and it's just a, a organizing scheme. This right here, though, this is what you need to uh, keep an eye on. So if you want to save your vehicle to your inventory, you want to grab this guy right here. That's how you save it to the inventory. So let's go ahead and test out the DeLorean. I'm going to put this in the vehicle container. So it's in here. So here is the small bus shuttle model that I designed myself. If I hide that real quick. Um, so I'm not going to use the ship player parenter right now. I'm going to use the seats instead. So I'm going to deactivate that. Just so I can show you. And then I'm going to go back to the DeLorean. I can close this menu. And I'm going to pull it to the center of our vehicle's core. Reset its position and rotation. There we go. So it looks like we might have to adjust some scaling here. So let me bring up the DeLorean's translation properties. So it looks like the Y axis needs to be rotated, I think, 90 degrees. Let's see what that does. Nine. Oh, not the Y axis, I'm sorry. Um, or is that the Z axis? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, I selected the wrong one. I'm just a little dumb, I swear. Only a little. Nine, zero. There we are, perfect. All right, so now that we've got it facing the correct direction, let's go ahead and scale it up a little bit, make sure we've got it looking about the right size. And my, my model's a little small, so I will scale up just to get the best reference I can. Okay, and let's pull this forward so that we can see those back seats there. Should go further back until we start to see our controls here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and scale this up just a little bit, get us a little bit more working room. All right, cool. So now that we've got that going for us, um, I'm going to double check that I have this. Because this DeLorean is unfortunately not very well rotated. The bottles and everything are a little bit skewed. So let me just hide it real quick and make sure that it's aligned with my seats as best I can get it. Okay, so I'm going to have to move it a little bit. But that's okay. I can worry about some of that detailing later. Main thing is I want to get it somewhere around here to where the control station is a little bit closer to where our driver is going to be sitting. So once I've got that there, I'm going to ah, get scared because I lost the thing. I'm also going to realize that I made it too big. I did make that too big. Let's make it smaller. There we go. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Okay. All right. So now that we've got it roughly where we want it, I'm going to take this passenger seat. I'm going to take this left one and I'm going to pull it up. And I'm going to put it roughly here. Okay. And I'm going to grab the other one. Do about the same thing. I'm going to put it right next to the other one. I've got to space them out a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, the DeLorean as a whole is a little bit skewed. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate it to the right, just to kind of help get us back on track. Just a little bit further to the right. So uh, an even 90 degrees is not quite enough. There we go. So now the steering wheel is a little bit more lined up with everything else. Let me make sure that our seats are also aligned because those are very important as well. There we go. 
All right, there we go. That's much better. Everything is aligned now as best I can get it. Let's make sure we get these seats adjusted. I'm gonna put this back here. And this one I'm just gonna put in here, roughly there. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my control station. This contains everything for our pilot. Everything our pilot needs, everything. I'm just gonna bring that out so that it's a little bit in front of our steering wheel here. That way our pilot can still access all the controls he needs or she. Make sure that they are able to pilot this vessel with as few hitches as possible. Make sure you are aware, metals like this, the steering wheel here, if you need to, you can hide stuff like that away. Looks like that is a wheel, a specific wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually deactivate that and get it out of our way. Just completely replace that with our control scheme alone. Okay, here we go. So now that we've got that kind of roughly positioned, I'm gonna select our driver's seat, what is now our driver's seat, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a test sit. Uh, it looks like I'm a little offset here. Um, and I am very close to my wall. So let me try this again. Click that, okay. So it looks like I am positioned roughly where I want to be. There we go. Just doubly check that. Make sure I can get a clean sit. There we go. And if I were to grab my chair behind me and sit down, I cannot see. All right. So it looks like I might have to edit this one a little bit. So let's see if I am sitting down already. Best way to fly a vehicle is sitting down. So it looks like it's a little high. Let's fix that. Pull this down. Here. Back just a little, a little bit. Deselect, make sure we're Doing a clean test here. Perfect, all right, cool. So we've got all our controls right where we need them, right in range, pull that down easily. I can look around, I can see out the vehicle. I've got a good clear view. I am maybe a little bit too low now. Let me just double check. But that will not be a problem for sure. Any bit higher. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just call it good. And just wrap up this video now. And there you go. There we go. Seats can be a little bit finicky. They're still a new system. So be patient while with them while they develop. And then we can have our passenger there. We could probably even these sits out to be like with each other. Passenger doesn't necessarily need to see. But now we've got a nice DeLorean that we can leave the doors open. Lift off. And start flying around. Wonderful. There we go. We have a fully functioning DeLorean. I will leave this model in this level so that you guys can go ahead and give it a try if you like the DeLorean as much as I do. Um, no space uh, or time travel yet in this uh, specific DeLorean. Don't worry. I'm sure that, well, I mean, space, yes, but time, not yet. Um, but don't worry. I'm sure that there will be a lot of interesting uh, tricks and uh, stuff we'll be able to mess with in the future. Let's do a little loop to loop with this thing, get this thing tested. There we go. Well done. All right, let's give that, uh, let's give that boost a test. Let me close that, I don't need it right now. Let's give that boost a test. 
go for some full speed. There we go. And we got some speed going. There we go. Excellent. And then you can, on the fly, make any adjustments to your vehicle. If you plan on doing any racing, I recommend setting up your own vehicles for that race and make sure that um, everybody either deletes or deactivates this panel here so that there's no cheating. And if you provide, if you're hosting a race, you can provide vehicles that you set up yourself. That way um, you can control what happens here, deactivate it, hide it away, make sure that players can't reach it. Um, de delete it. If you delete this panel alone with all these settings here, you will um, you will have a safe to race vehicle. And there you go. So that's pretty much it. You guys are all set to go. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you have fun, as much fun as I have had developing this thing. And I will see you guys around. There you go. Oh, I might need to set an exit point for something. Actually, I think it's retaining where you get in from. So let me double check that. Eh, in that way. Oh, it does. Okay, it retains where you enter from. So be be aware of that if you have a floating a car that's floating above you. So. All right, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Thank you guys for watching, and have fun.